you are my favorite And you got me wanting food Yes, Foodie Friday. Joining us today from the Hard Rock Cafe Chicago is Jax Laverday. Hi, Jax. Hi, what's going on? How are you? Good, good. Glad to be inside. Yeah, is it cold out there? It's getting, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting a little brisk right now, yeah. yeah well, we've got some big, giant, uh, well, let me, uh, first off, I was, uh, I've been reading here on the uh, the fact sheet, the Hard Rock has been in Chicago for 30 years. Yeah, it'll be 31 in June. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I remember when it came here. You do? Mm-hmm. Were you there okay. for that? The grand I opening? was. I was. Were you? Uh-huh. Oh, I bet you got some great stories back in I the 80s. I do have some pretty good stories uh-huh. that I can't say right now. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll do can, that off air. I can tell you later. <laughs> yeah. Fun, fun. Yeah, I think you've got our local burger over there. I can't see it. That's our monster of a burger. Each cafe has its own local burger that's specific to the city, and that one's a half ounce or a half pound burger with Italian beef on top, melted provolone oh, cheese, and red pepper and jardinero. Uh, Are you kidding me? Yeah, I that, love Italian beef. I love burgers. And now they're all in one bun. Burger on beef and beef and beef. Yeah, it's a big so, guy. Some nice looking jardinero on there too. Yeah. I'm going to dig in, Steve. Have you had a chance to give it a try, Steve? I have not yet. No, I I, I will though. Um, uh, it's You're doing a thing called Bites, Brews, and Beets, right? Yeah. So this menu, it's a um, it's a small bite menu that offers some inexpensive menu options. This is not a small bite. Well, yeah, this is a giant <laughs> burger. This is a giant bite, Jax. The burger is not part of that. So okay. right. what I've got over here are our house-made blue cheese potato chips and also our shock top infused tater tots over here. Wow. Um, these are smaller portions that are offered... Um, at a discounted price on our on that small menu uh-huh. here, so it's just kind of you know bring people in, gotcha. offer some smaller options, you know, because obviously a half pound burger is a yeah. You know, it's an I, I don't even know operation. how to, I don't even know how to attack this thing and still keep just, talking. No, so. dive right in, brother. It's amazing. Mm. Thanks, man. Thanks yeah. for the advice. <laughs> what would I do without Brendan? I, I mean, I know, really right? don't know. He brings the weir- real world advice from the streets. That's yeah. the thing. He's been out. Just dive right he in. He knows bro. how these things it's work. Free. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep eating until you can't eat anymore. And then take the rest home. <laughs> yeah, no, they all look they all look really, really good. Yeah, thank you. I have not I have not been there in a while to the hard rock and I should go there. You should. You know, you kinda get used to just seeing it and you think, Oh, that's for you know People from out of town or whatever, right. but it's a that's a good spot. It's a it's a really fun spot. Um, we offer live music. We have live music tonight that starts at nine thirty. Really? Um, and I mean, we showcase a lot of memorabilia that's just. I mean, all of it's one hundred percent authentic. It can't be touched. It can't be compared to. We often right. call ourselves like the Smithsonian of mm-hmm. rock and roll because I mean, it's like a museum when you walk inside there. Yeah. Um. So there's a lot to see, and it's, you know, it's not, it's a lot more than good food. Obviously, you've got a lot of good food in front of you right now. Um. But there's definitely a lot of things to capture when you guys are there. See, they got. Uh, Jim Jimi Hendrix's 1956 Gibson Les Paul. Yeah, that's right when you walk in the cafe, showcase in a nice, like, um, blue case. Mm-hmm. And you can see all the scratch marks on it, everything that we like, kind of beat through, carried it with him when he was on tour. It's really, really neat. Nice. Also got Wolfman Jack's um, cape right when you walk in. You take really? a right. Yeah, the Wolfman, the Wolfman. baby. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorite hey, pieces. The Wolfman um, Jack show. Yeah. XCRB, Mexico. Nice. Yeah. I uh, one time I was a cheap trick was playing there. This had this is more than twenty years ago, dude. I was at that. Are Were you, you serious? I was there, and I w- I sang surrender with them. Really? Nice. Yeah. Wow. It was so maybe you weren't at the same one. Oh, I, I, don't, well, I don't know. I mean, but I, they were I, like. They were in, it didn't seem like a stage. It seemed like they were in the bar there or something playing. Yeah, they were like, yeah. Maybe I did see that. I'm Well, maybe you didn't, you know, that, I don't know if I saw that, but. If we're talking 20 years ago, we're also talking 80s. There's probably a lot you don't remember. That's <laughs> yeah. true. I remember it, but just bare, I only remember that part of it. It's hazy. It. Uh-huh. It's hazy. <laughs> but I did get up and did sing Surrender with them. Yeah. Yeah, that's a while ago. I think that's. They might have. They did a New Year's party with us one year, and then they also came in later at a different date. He took his drum set off the wall, um, the drummer, and he actually broke um, the drum, like the, um, the what you call it on top of the drum. I'm at a loss for the head. Time. Yeah, the head of the drum, and so he had to buy us a new one so we could put it back on the wall because it's obviously right. owned by us now. Oh. And if you guys come and you see it as on our stage, you can see the new pen mark um, from the sharpie that he used to sign it. It's really wow. cool. It's a lot darker than the other ones. All the other signatures are faded, but you can see which one he broke because of that piece. It's really neat. Very cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's so very cool. cool. Huh? That's very cool. Yeah, that was definitely more than twenty years ago because I was hammered. 
<laughs> and I, it's, it's been 21 years since I stopped drinking, so. Oh, good for you, man. Yeah. Well, then you're probably not going to enjoy the flights that we set right next to you. No, no. Well, the mine's empty. <laughs> mine, mine are empty, but I like go. the glasses. The yeah. glasses are very cool. Yeah, if you purchase those, um, it's $8.99. You get to keep the glassware that comes with it. Nice. Yeah, and all of our other stuff on them, um, like our Pints and our Hurricanes, they're a little bit more expensive, so that's also featured in like the small um, brews and bites. And with that, you also get a download of, uh, downloadable Spotify card. Oh, um, for oh. the artist that's featured for um, those two weeks because we're changing the artist out every two weeks because they're all from different cities. So we just had Fort Francis featured for our Spotify pre- um, premium list. Cool. And uh, they're from Chicago, Fort mm-hmm. Francis. And right now we're in uh, we're in St. Louis at the moment and that's going to be Bruiser Queen. So it's more like a rock band whereas mm-hmm. Fort Francis is more like an indie indie rock type of thing. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. And the uh, and the flights are just uh, various uh, micro brews and stuff? Or? Those, well, what we're featuring on our menu now, um, you're going to have Bud Light, Anheuser Bush is like, Big parent company out of those. And we also have Goose Island. So you have mm-hmm. the 312, their new OMG, which is Old Man Grumpy, which is a pale ale. And then you also have their winter ale, which is going to be, it's a brown ale that's on there. So you get a little mm. bit of different, a uh, little bit different taste from all those beers from cool. Goose Island. Are you going to, is that your IPA, Old Man Grumpy? It, it, yeah, eventually it will be. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like it probably should Not be. Yet. They're getting point. ahead of the yeah. times. I think Not so. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's the Hard Rock Cafe. It's, uh, it's right there on Ontario, 63 West Ontario. They've been here for 30 years. If you haven't been there lately, go back there and how check many, it out. How many are, are there worldwide of the Hard Rock? There's a little over 160 right now, um, and we're popping up. We've got some new hotels coming through, new casinos, um, new live venues also um, in mm-hmm. production. But yeah, cafe-wise, there's a little over 160 right now. Wow. Mm-hmm. Only one in Chicago, though. Well, it's a good cafe. spot. Yeah. It's a good spot. It's right in the fun zone there. Sure yeah, it is. is. Right there in the fun zone. Check out the, uh, the the what do you call this burger again? That one's our local legendary local burger. Local legendary. You can only get that in Chicago, that specific burger. Really? Yeah. And then this one is? That's our uh, veggie leggy that you have right here. It's got a portobello on it and uh, a veggie burger. We got a veggie right? patty, portobello, um, zucchini squash, roasted red pepper. And then over here, we've also got our Heineken burger that we're featuring until the 28th. Mm-hmm. So it's our Heineken burger. It's got uh, melted Gouda cheese, a little bit of arugula, and also some brisket, and then caramelized Heineken infused barbecue onions. Holy Dude. Smokes. Yeah. yeah, you guys, guys are making magic. That's a demon right there, yeah. Did, did you bring <laughs> a hammock with you? Because I'm going to need to take a nap after yeah, all this. Really. <laughs> all right, thanks to Jack Slaverde of the Hard Rock Cafe in Chicago and uh, get over there and check out Bites, Brews, and Beats. Thanks, Jack. Thank you for having me, guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.